<sighs> I'm glad we stopped to go shopping. That nice potion seller gave me a few extra ounces of herbs for free. So generous. Oh, you're not the only one who made off well. Look what I have here. Oh, let me see. Two flasks of... What? I didn't see you buy those. They're potions. What? The, what? But he said all of his potions were too strong. How did... <laughs> all right. Did you steal those? Of, of course not. I'm not that underhanded. But, but I must admit, I don't know what they do... Uh, let's each try one. Here, you take this blue one, and I'll drink this red one. Oh, what the, this is the... Oh, it smells like strawberries. <laughs> See? You try first, cousin. Uh, bottom's up now. Well, it, it doesn't smell bad. I mean... Oh, go for you it. You not anything dangerous, right? Uh, of course not. Uh, no, go for it. Uh, bottom's up. Yes? Yes? Hmm? Hmm? What do you oh. think? I feel a bit odd. You don't look any different. Hmm. Maybe it takes a... Oh. Oh, my. What? What is it? Your face looks... Uh, how should I put this? Very feminine, cousin. Well, <laughs> it's a good what? look for you. My face? <laughs> what did it do? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, my. Uh, don't freak out, but... Uh, Yosef, you didn't by any chance stuff any supplies into the front of your coat, front did you? Front of my coat? Lord Desna! <laughs> 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 oh, Yosef, I think you drank some sort of polymorph potion. How can you laugh at a time like this? <laughs> Why? What's wrong with having the body of a woman? You look great. Well, I mean... Nothing exactly, but it's not me. Oh, I should never have trusted you. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It should wear off in a few hours. Oh, I'm going to try mine down the hatch. But a few hours? Ah. Hmm. It'll take at least that long to get to our destination anyway. You'll be fine. Uh, uh. Oh, my. Oh, I don't, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Oh my, all right. Uh, Your skin, it's changing color. Ah, uh, oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh. All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> it would seem Tesla does have a sense of humor. <laughs> I knew it. What? No, no, cousin. You shrink. You're too much, dude. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're so cute. A newt? Oh, this is extraordinary. I've never experienced anything like this. Although I, I don't suppose I'll be able to tell my tales tonight like this. Uh, pick me up, will you? <laughs> so, uh, it's up to me to be the storyteller again, is it? <laughs> I suppose so. Unless, of course, this wears off in time. Well, as I recall, the last you told me of the heroes of Fandar. After finishing off the hobgoblins who are defiling the shrine, Layari and Theros revived their companions and reburied the desecrated dead. Aiden took the opportunity to destroy the war priest's staff. Nayari brought Ilika to the shrine and prayed for their friend's recovery, undergoing a ritual, hoping to earn Desna's favor. Suddenly, her deceased brother's spirit appeared. He warned her of the evil spirits possessing Ilika, and that he would do what he could to help her free from its grasp. The heroes surrounded her, and Nayari's brother grappled the wraith, clutching at Ilika. They fought with all their courage and strength, for their friend's very soul hung in the balance. The evil presence was vanquished, and Ilika was once again restored. Neari and Ilika 
had a touching reunion, but it wasn't without its heartbreak, as memories of past tragedies flooded the poor girl's thoughts. But their spirits were inspired once again upon returning to their camp at the caves. Aubryn approached the companions with a banner she and the other survivors had fabricated, a symbol of their tenacity, heroism, and will to survive. Aiden gave a rousing speech as they looked to the future with hope once again. The next day, they ventured back to Veld's cabin, whom they managed to convince to join them in the cave's shelter. But their joyful hearts would be challenged as they returned to camp, as a hobgoblin voice bellowed at them, a new battle drawing near.